My name is Hector Mendez Caratini. I live in Puerto Rico and uh, I live in the area called Isla Verde, the Green Island. Yeah. I started working with the coffee plantations at an early age, you know. Uh, say, for example, my, my maternal grandfather had a coffee plantation and I used to go there since I was, you know, four years old. So in a way, it's something that's in uh, a tribute to my ancestors. Okay, the work we're looking at is called Haciendas Cafetaleras de Puerto Rico, which is in English is Coffee Plantations of Puerto Rico. It was a series I begun in the late 80s, like 89, 90, 91, you know, and it documents about 36 different coffee plantations in the interior of the island of Puerto Rico. Uh, on the four photographs we have here, uh, the first one on the top, on the left, is the interior of the house of Francisco Yush Mora. And at the same time, we have a, a painting of one of his ancestors, which shows the, the descendants from Mallorca, from the island of Mallorca in Spain. On the right-hand side is a coffee plantation by the name uh, Hacienda Maria, and it's in Yauco, Yauco, Puerto Rico. And the curious thing about it is like a white building against a white background. I woke up really early in the morning so I could take the photo of the fog, which is very romantic. On the bottom of the structure is what they call the, the carrellones, which is like, a, like the drawers in a desk where they would, uh, giant ones, of course, where, where they would write down the coffee. Whenever it starts raining, they push the drawers back in to the bottom of the building so they won't get wet. The one on the, on the bottom is Hacienda San Calixto, which has a water wheel. The water wheel was uh, the way in which all the, the machinery would work, you know, with water. So all these coffee plantations, they were ideally located near a river so that the river would provide uh, the means of uh, giving energy to the machinery of the 19th century. And then the, the coffee beans are ready to be exported on the bottom part of the, of the exhibit. Uh, shows you that the quality of the coffee was so good that it got exported to Europe. So Puerto Rico was known to have like a very good coffee, which was the coffee that the Pope and the Vatican would drink. My name is Anna Lee Davis. I am from Barbados and I live and work in Barbados. The title of the piece is Sweet Island Cookie Cutter, Sweet for So. The piece really is in part a response to developers' vision of Barbados and small island developing states in the Caribbean as perfectly manicured environments that are often marketed to people who are coming in from other places. So it's presented in a kind of a very sterile sort of way, these um, laser engraved andiroba boxes that have inside of them tropes or, or stereotypical images that one associates with the Caribbean as an exotic paradise. And inside the box is AstroTurf, and what sits on that are these plastic cookie cutters. And so the idea is kind of speaking about the way in which the Caribbean is um, sort of marketed as uh, an exotic space to be consumed. So it's speaking about consumption, it's speaking about exotica, tropical environments, and the way in which that we sort of package ourselves as an exotic tropical paradise or playground for people from somewhere else.